News of my father is most disturbing. We should leave for Niflheim immediately. Many would trust in his strength and say Odin cannot be defeated. Yes, with Loki involved, my father could be in great danger. There is no telling what the god of evil has planned. I have battled it several times, and it truly is invincible. The metal it is constructed of is harder than Uru, a mystical metal known only to Asgard. It is even harder than adamantium. My hammer, the Mjolnir, is constructed of it, as are several other enchanted weapons of my people. It was given to me by my father, Odin. It is enchanted so that only those it deems noble enough can lift it. My father had me endure many trials so that I would become worthy of Mjolnir. There were many times I would measure my success by seeing how far I could lift it from the ground. Yes, my father, the X-Man named Storm, Captain America, and Beta Ray Bill, an alien who, after a great many trials, became the protector of his people. He picked up my hammer not knowing its true power, and Mjolnir deemed him worthy to lift it. You are welcome, my friend. So, are you ready for Niflheim? From what I've heard, it's quite an amazing place. There's a mountain there known as Raven's Spire. It's supposed to be some sort of special zone where very powerful magic can be performed. It's a focal point of Asgardian magic. An average sorcerer could become very, very powerful while at the top of the mountain. I think everyone's about ready for Weasel to leave. Colossus came back late last night after a week-long trip to Russia. He found Weasel in the kitchen and wound up putting him through a wall. Karma managed to get between them and explain who Weasel was. Come back anytime, my friend. Hi. Yes, when I was pregnant with him, I stepped down from active duty, and Crystal took my place in the Fantastic Four. She's one of the Inhumans. While Crystal was a member of the team, she was Johnny's girlfriend. But as things tend to go with my brother, it wasn't a long-lasting relationship. They were the results of the Kree having experimented on humans during our Stone Age. Their goal was to build an army of super soldiers to aid in the war against the Skrull. The Kree did succeed in creating humans with supernatural abilities, but they abandoned the experiment. And the Inhumans are the result. It was my pleasure. Your friend Weasel continues to stare at me. Interested. Romantically? Please. I just ate. This is absurd. How could a toad like that even think he is worthy of the affections of the great Valkyrie? In years gone by, I was able to gather warriors from Earth. But I was recently told we were no longer allowed to do that. It was by order of Odin. An order I do not agree with. But it is not my place to argue with the mightiest of the gods. I assume you are joking. I would sooner stick both hands in the mouth of Fenris as talk to that pasty-faced human. Nay, I say to you, he smells of greasy food and breathes through his mouth. I bid thee good day, human. So, did Valkyrie say anything about me? Don't I know it. To the beauty of Valkyrie! Wow! Talk about a mind-blower! How could Nick have kept that information from us? How could he not tell us he suspected what Doom's plans were all along? Ah, we may take shots at each other, but it's all in fun. Johnny's a good kid, even if he is like a little yipping poodle most of the time. Nah, you got it all wrong. I love the little darling. I only get the urge to clobber him once in a while. No problem. I need more drink.
The final phase of our plan is about to commence. The attack on the Omega base, the kidnapping of the X-Men, and our dealings with Mephisto have all led up to this moment. I would remind you that failure is not an option. You worry too much, my good doctor. We are more than prepared to achieve our ultimate goal. And you worry too little. How often have we all had victory firmly in our grasp? Only to have it snatched away by the heroes. You do realize, Baron Mordo, that the price of failure will be the wrath of Odin. Are you prepared for that? No. No, I don't suppose I am. None of us are. It would be a fate worse than death. And that is why we must be absolutely certain we are willing to do what must be done for success. Fear not, Dr. Doom. I am prepared for whatever challenges we meet. As am I. Just, Just knowing the rewards that await makes it all worthwhile. Of that, you have no fear, Ultron. Everyone will get what's coming to them. So you've returned, eh? Well, I've nothing left to steal. So leave me in peace. He did pass through here on his way to battle. I don't know who he fought, but the very ground shook from the force of the blows. It has recently grown silent, and I fear all is not well for Odin. I am Vola, prophetess of Asgard. I believe you when you say you do not have my ring. But should you find it, I would gladly tell your fortune. Thank you. 